Hi, I'm David Levin, and welcome to Pop Goes the Culture, the behind-the-scenes stories of the great TV shows from the people who were there. Today, Todd Bridges talks about celebrity guests and visitors to the Different Strokes set, meeting Muhammad Ali, working with legends like Henry Fonda, Carl Weathers, Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, The Osmonds, Prince, Magic Johnson, plus spending 4th of July at Sammy Davis Jr.'s house. How much that meant to Todd. Any other great set visits? You know, you talked about some of the people. We had, um, uh, let's see, who else? Well, we had, uh, well, not, at the time, we had a lot, we have a lot of people on our show who are big stars today. Such um, as? Such as, um, what was his name? Andrew Dice Clay, uh, Mr. T was there, um, uh, Too Tall Jones, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Reggie Jackson, um, Muhammad Ali. Um, Were you a big sports fan at the time? Yes. So tell me about what was it like to meet these guys? It was excellent. But for me, meeting Muhammad Ali was the best thing ever. That's Meeting Muhammad Ali for a child, a black child, was pr it's probably the greatest thing that could ever happen in the whole wide world. Um, he was just uh, the nicest guy in the world, fast, still, you know. He was Ali, you know what I mean? He's like, you know, he talked to you, you know, and you're like, man, that's Ali, you know, and it's like, because I grew up, you know, watching Ali. You grew up watching a guy who can back up everything he said, you know, I'm gonna knock you out in four rounds and knock the guy out in four rounds, you know. I mean, it was just Ali, you know, and um, having him on the show and having him, you know, being able to talk and being able to, you know, move and used to do this little thing behind your ear, and you're like looking around, he's like smiling at you, you know. Um, it was the greatest thing in the whole wide world. He was the nicest guy ever, you know, one of the nice people I ever met. And um, he was great, just was nice. Just, you know, it was a lot of fun. What, um, what are some of the other, some of the other, you, you, you I'm, I'm looking at my research here, and like, mm -hmm. I'm tons of research. You've worked with your family also. You? Worked with my complete family. Tell um, me about your, your family. We did, a, my family, my brother James Bridges, my sister Verda Bridges, and my, Mother Betty Bridges. We um, did a show, um, a Jell-O brand gelatin commercial, one of the first commercials that, you know, before Bill Cosby, all that, where they go, this is the family from San Francisco, California, and they eat Jell-O brand gelatin. And why do you like it? And we came and said, hey, we like, you know, I had a high voice. Hey, mom, can I have some more? Remember, that was my line in it. Um, we were one of the first people to do that. Um, um, I worked with uh, Carl Weathers on um, United Airlines commercial. I worked with Henry Fonda. Um, yeah, I worked you didn't Henry. Play his son, did you? No, <laughs> I worked at Henry Fonda in a bicentennial commercial, and uh, I remember when they had the little kid blowing the bugle and the kid beating the drum and carrying a flag, and Henry Fonda was talking about 1976, whatever. I worked at Henry Fonda in that commercial. I was one of the so kids. Cool. Yeah. Well, I had dinner at Elvis Presley's house when I was a kid. All right, um, I want to hear about that. <laughs> You're just like passing off this. Well, of a you know, he um, one of the things he had said was, "Hey, you know, wanna, wanna pass me the uh, potatoes." <laughs> It's one of the things I remember. Um, How old were you at the time? Like 10 or 11 or something like that. Um, knew, I see, knew Michael Jackson very well, knew um, the Osmonds very well, um, knew well, most of the singers very well, all of them, most of them. Sounds Prince, like The Time, all those guys. Um, 